All right, before we take a look at this new submarine, I would like to shout out CJ Dino Rex for letting me know that this, you know, new Blade submarine was out already. Without further ado, let's look at our new submarine. All right, so here we have our new and updated Blade class submarine. And as we can see, this thing looks freaking gorgeous. We got all the different precursor, we got all the different precursor symbols that are all over the top of the submarine that we can see right here. They look like, uh, I don't know, they're like some little diamonds. I don't really know. We got the little precursor symbols on the top of the submarine. And they also, there's also a bunch of different symbols so we have these ones that are sort of like diamond shaped and then we have this one over here which is uh i don't even know how to describe that shape just some triangles and we got some squares over here that the little precursor detailing that's on the submarine and it also looks like this underneath if we head underneath the submarine it looks just like this underneath except we can also see that there's the hatch right there you know we can see that little circle right there this thing looks monstrous from the bottom to be honest like look at this this thing looks crazy so the new precursor lights that got added to the submarine are one of the biggest highlights of this new update to this mod and i will be doing a video where i compare the new updated blade class submarine which is the one we're looking at right now to the old ones if we head around to the back of the submarine we still have the standard little lights back here there's also this little thing i think this light right here is new on the top and bottom i will say all the lights that got added to this precursor submarine and all the ones that were here as well are also they also seem like they're super super bright you know like really vibrant colors why is this biter attacking my can you go away oh yeah super super vibrant lights we got the line lights on the very side there's two there's two line lights total there's one left and one on the right hand side and then after we take a look at this we're gonna head on to the interior of the submarine we can already see a little bit of it a little bit of it wow just stumbling over my words again yeah i really really like these new lights that they added and i think they're but yeah i really really like the new lights that got added to the submarine it's also i believe it's also a darker a darker color a really nice dark and rich black color that really matches the precursor theme of the submarine and also helps bring out the green colors a lot more which maybe th that honestly might be why they look so bright because this black color is like super contrasting to the green the super bright green colors all right so we looked at the submarine on the outside looks super awesome on the outside so let's head on the interior and look what it and see what it looks like on the inside so we got the hatch on the very bottom which is you know right here it's got a little circular light around it helping us show you know where the hatch is so that's nice and now that we're inside we can see that there's a whole bunch of lighting new lighting on the inside we got these lights at the very top big old line lights we got the very back, which is where the upgrades are, if we get out of this little mode right here. It sort of looks like it's on like this little pedestal, kind of looks super cool back here. Pedestal or terminal, either or, it kind of works. But, you know, you got your upgrades back here, slap your upgrades in here. Look to the left, we got our vehicle battery. Look to the right, got two more vehicle batteries, so we have a total of four vehicle batteries. Got these little square panels up here. And if we look to the front of the submarine and look to the left or to the right, we can see that these two giant boxes right here are our storage. And this thing does have quite a bit of storage, so that is very nice. Uh, can you still build? Can you build things in here? Let's see. Medical. Oh, you can. You can build things in here and you can build stuff on the storage thingy so you can still access the storage while having stuff on top of it. So that's nice. But there is some room to build a few things in here, although you're not gonna be able to fit much in here, but you know, you can still try to fit what you can. And let's hop into the pilot seat. All right, so the main thing about this pilot seat that I want to mention is the giant terminal that we're seeing right in front of us. So this terminal is really, really bright. It might be a little bit too bright, especially if let's say we turn it nighttime. Now we got this big old terminal in front of us and <laughs> it's like a big old beacon of light at the bottom of your screen. It kind of makes it a little bit hard to see the stuff in front of you underneath and whatnot. So that is a potential negative depending on who, you know, if you do like these bright colors or not. I don't really mind it that much, but for some people they might not like this, you know, super bright terminal in front of them. So do keep that in mind. But this thing does move at a pretty decent speed. It's got a base depth of 500 meters and it also has three depth modules that we're gonna look at as well. All right, so you make the depth modules for this thing in the vehicle not the vehicle in the regular modification station right here we're just going to open it click on mod vehicle upgrade modules depth modules and then we have our depth modules right here mark one two and three okay another thing i would also like to mention is where the lights are coming from so the lights that are that are now on we can see that they're sort of coming from these little line lights right here nice little attention to detail you know because some submarines just sort of like have the lights show up out of absolutely nowhere so at least here there's a little bit of context and it makes it look a little more realistic in that aspect and a lot more believable than the lights just appearing out of absolutely nowhere so nice little detail all right so our first step module increases the max crush depth to 900 meters so that's pretty decent i think that's like the base step of the pond suit i believe all right the mark 2 depth module increases the crush depth to 1300 meters also pretty good you'll be able to take this 
the vast majority of places, except you may get like locked out around the lava zone, I believe, if, with the Mark II depth module, and then the Mark III depth module. Oh, oh my gosh! Increases it to 4,800 meters, so you'll be able to go basically everywhere on the map with this thing. So that's, you know, that's nice. Although it may be a little, just just a little bit overkill. But yeah, this is the new Blade class submarine. Just wanted to show it. Other than that, that is my only I had for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.